for more than half of the time it's been occupied. Since the loss of Columbia and its crew, the International Space Station has been a home on orbit to two people at a time. As luck would have it, it took Expedition 13 to bring the ISS back to its original crew size and to host the resumption of station assembly. During their first weeks on board, Commander Pavel Vinogradov and flight engineer and NASA ISS science officer Jeff Williams spent time learning how to live in space while picking up the work begun by their predecessors. That included laboratory science, like the suite of six physics investigations known collectively as the capillary flow experiment. The information on how fluids behave in microgravity will aid the designers of future spacecraft. All right, well, let's get on the way. But the primary area of research during Expedition 13 was life sciences, exploring how the human body reacts to being in weightlessness for an extended period of time and determining how the negative effects of that environment can be countered. That data is also being applied by the developers of future spacecraft, which will carry explorers back to the moon and out into the solar system. The two veteran spacewalkers made the first EVA of the flight in early June, exiting from the hatch in the pier's docking compartment wearing Russian Orland spacesuits. Once they got properly situated on the exterior of the station, Williams moved his commander into position to install a new vent valve for the Electron, the Russian system that generates oxygen for the crew members to breathe. Then, Vinogradov moved to the aft end of the Zvezda module to retrieve an experiment and remove slack from an antenna cable, while Williams completed tasks on Zvezda and Piers. Back together, the spacewalkers used the Strela cargo crane as a pathway to the forward end of the Zarya module and translated from there onto the U.S. section of the station. They replaced a camera on the mobile base system, the platform that moves the station's Canadarm2 along the rails on the truss, and then retraced their steps back to piers to wrap up the six and a half hour spacewalk. At just about the halfway mark in the flight, things changed for Expedition 13. In July, a space shuttle filled with supplies arrived and brought one thing that the station had been without for more than three years, a third crew member. European Space Agency astronaut Tomas Ryder of Germany arrived to join Vinogradov and Williams and became the first ever station crew member who was not American or Russian. In less than a month, he was ready to head out the door, joining Williams in an EVA from the Quest Airlock, the third spacewalk of each man's career. Two. Williams and Ryder moved out to the S-1 truss to install a device that measures the development of electrical potential. Those measurements will aid in developing procedures to prevent arcing. Then they returned to the airlock to install two containers of spacecraft construction materials to test how those materials withstand the spaceflight environment. When they quickly completed several other tasks, including a test of an infrared camera to detect damage on the material used to line the leading edges of a space shuttle's wings and nose, they got the go-ahead to tackle a few extra jobs. Williams and Ryder installed a new light for the rail car on the truss, then removed a malfunctioning antenna and installed foot restraints. The Expedition 13 crew members worked together inside the station, too, installing some of the new hardware that arrived with Ryder. That included the minus 80 degrees laboratory freezer for ISS for storage of experiment samples and the European modular cultivation system, a large incubator for experiments on plant growth. A crew of three meant more time available for laboratory science and Williams used some of that for an experiment known by the acronym SPHERES. Jet fire is in both satellites. They're bowing to each other. The bowling ball sized satellites flew autonomous rendezvous and docking maneuvers inside the laboratory to test control algorithms being developed for future spacecraft. As Expedition 13 was about to conclude, construction of the International Space Station revved back up. Vinogradov, Williams, and Ryder greeted ISS Assembly Mission 12A and assisted with the installation of the P 3 P 4 truss and the second set of U.S. solar array wings. This first major addition to ISS in nearly four years, in the final days of the Expedition 13 mission, signaled a return to assembly of ISS, 
the platform that will prepare humans for the next phase of space exploration.